what they are. You ain't even talked about your boundaries. So how are they going to even know not to disrespect you like that if you don't let them know what your boundaries are? What's up, everybody? Key Love Scott here. Welcome back to my channel where I help uplift, encourage, and inspire others on how to be the best versions of themselves. If you guys are new to my channel, please feel free to hit that subscribe button notification bell so you can be notified every time I post another video. So you guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about boundaries in relationships, how to set boundaries, why boundaries are important, all of that jazz, yada, yada, yada. So first off, you guys may be wondering, well, what is a boundary? A boundary is what you will or will not put up with in a relationship. So it could be in your um, marriage. It could be with your mother or father-in-laws. It could be with your parents. It could be with anybody. These are all boundaries, something that you will or will not be putting up with. And boundaries are important because if you want a healthy relationship, you must put them in place. Otherwise, you're going to be dealing with an unhealthy relationship, which is where people are walking over top each other, where you're disrespecting that person and you're like, I don't know why this is such a big deal. Like, why are you mad about this? This is not that big of a deal to me. Well, because to that person, it is a big deal. So if you don't talk about these things, how is the other person going to know that you're disrespecting me? And how is this person going to know that they're not meaning to be disrespectful? You just never talked about boundaries. So it all boils down to healthy and open communication. And basically not being afraid of the way your spouse is going to react when you are letting them know hey, I deem this as being disrespectful. And if you're scared to open up to your spouse or whoever it may be about whatever it is that is, you know, considered to be disrespectful to you, then that is a major red flag. You should not ever be afraid of how your spouse is going to react. You shouldn't ever be afraid if they're going to be mad. There is nothing wrong with expressing yourself in a healthy way, in an open and honest way of communicating I don't like this and this is why. Let's give some examples here. Um, we all know in today's era, social media is a big major platform and it is a big reason why a lot of relationships fail. Um, so say if you're telling your spouse that, I don't like when you like these pictures, it makes me feel some type of way. And your spouse goes off and does it anyway, then that is a form of disrespect because you're literally telling them, hey, this is my boundary. Don't do this. I would appreciate if you didn't like it because it makes me feel like you don't appreciate me. It makes me feel like that you would prefer this type of person if you're liking these types of pictures. And that person's like, I don't get why it's such a big deal to you. It is nothing like that. And then they proceed to go and like these pictures. Then that means that that person is disrespecting your boundary. And then from that point on, you can either choose to reply and let them know, hey, again, gentle reminder, I do not like when you do X, Y, and Z and you stepped over that boundary, you're disrespecting me. Or you can just basically decide to leave that person if they continue to step over that boundary. Now, again, there is a healthy way to do this. Some people just go off and you know, they cuss in, they, you know, there's healthy and unhealthy ways to do this, you guys. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> like, it, you can't be mad at someone's reaction if you are meeting them with aggression and anger and judgment and you're like poking the bear. Like, you just so, you nasty and you're doing all these different things like that. I should leave you now. There's another man out there who would love me and who would much prefer to be with me instead. All of those things may be true, yes, but the, do they need to be said? No, it's just it's just a, a whole thing of respect, okay? So just because that person may not be respecting you does not mean you have to meet that person the same way. Don't It doesn't mean that you have to bow down or get down to their level, okay? We are told to walk high and to keep our standards high, and that's what we're going to do. Or say if you have you know, a charger and you're like, hey, I really prefer if you don't use my charger without asking me first. Can you please ask me? Because for some reason, I just think it's really rude when people just go and take my things. I have a thing with that. Like, can you just ask me before you use my stuff? 
and they're like yeah sure no big deal whatever that's cool and then you know you proceed that person proceeds you're sleeping they come in and they take your charger and they're using it and they don't even ask you that's highly disrespectful because you literally put that boundary in place and you said I don't like you using my stuff without asking and that person use it without asking anyway they don't think it's a big deal it's just a charger like of course it's not a big deal to that person but because it is a big deal to you and because you deem that as disrespectful it is a big deal and they should be honoring your wishes by not crossing those boundaries so I want to put that in place so that you guys can get an idea of what a healthy relationship is and what an unhealthy relationship is when you have boundaries in place yes it takes time none of these things come automatically like you can't just get in a relationship or get married and then expect everyone to know your boundaries and I think a lot of us think that like well he should know like this is unacceptable why would he think this is even cool like you shouldn't even be doing that because I wouldn't do that to you yeah, that's true. But at the same time, we teach people how to love us. And if you're not putting these boundaries in place, then you're one going to expect this person to make you happy and to keep you happy. Um, you're going to be expecting this person to automatically know how to just not step your boundaries. They don't even know what they are. You ain't even talked about your boundaries. So how are they going to even know not to disrespect you like that if you don't let them know what your boundaries are? On top of that, you guys are going to be constantly like disrespecting each other unintentionally because you don't have them. So if you are in a healthy relationship, you should be able to express openly about what's going on. You should be able to know that happiness is your job. It's only, it's no one else's job. It's not your mama's job. It's not your best friend's job. It's not anyone's job, but your own to keep yourself happy. And once you figure out I'm responsible for my own happiness. You don't have to rely on your partner to do that for you. That is what a healthy relationship looks like. And being able to honor each other and to respect each other by keeping in mind what is important to the other person. Even though we don't deem these things as a deal breaker or as a big deal to us, if they're a big deal to our partner, then they should automatically be a big deal to us. So if you guys are, like I said, kind of struggling with that, figure out what is something that you are not going to put up with. Like, what are you not going to be dealing with? What is something in your life that you're like, you literally may have to sit down and write this out. What does a healthy marriage look like to you? What does a healthy relationship look like to you in a friendship? What does it look like for your mother and father-in-law to be in a healthy relationship with you? What would that take? What should your parents be in order to be healthy to you like what do you need from them what are deal breakers like i really want you guys to sit and think about that and write them down and that way you can create healthy boundaries in your life so say if one boundary for anybody who gets um to they come over to your place and you say um it's a boundary of mine i really want people to take their shoes off when they come over and i really want people to um, always greet my husband or my boyfriend or whoever. Make sure that you speak to the people in the house. That is a boundary of mine that I'm putting in place. Always speak to whoever lives in the house first. So if someone comes in and you, you already let your friends know this kind of stuff, you're like, look, I just want you guys to know up front, this is what my boundaries are. And then they come over and, you know, they take their shoes off and stuff, but they're not speaking to the people in the house. And you're like, okay, that's awfully rude. Don't feel like you can't speak up. Don't feel like you have to shrink down just to keep people happy. I know none of us want to talk about these uncomfortable situations, but these are conversations that must be had. This is why a lot of people have problems and they're not happy in their lives because they're not speaking up for themselves. And they're, let, they're letting people just do whatever they want to do. And you may lose a lot of friends because you're starting to have boundaries in place and you're starting to stand up for yourself. But the right ones will stay and the ones who are disrespectful will be sticking out like sore thumbs left and right. It'll be a really easy way for you to see who God has placed in your life for you and who God is waiting to just prune off of you to create room for more people to flock into your life. 
So if that person comes in, they take their shoes off, they're speaking to the person in the house, you're like, okay, this person respects me. Okay, they must really care about me. They're doing what I'm asking them to do. And then if you have the opposite result, that is obviously somebody who does not respect you. And that is somebody who you should be questioning if they're going to be in your life or not. No one who loves you is going to disrespect you. I really wanted this video to be something that is very informative for you. But also I don't want to spend too much time reiterating the same things. But once you guys start to be a little bit more assertive and you start speaking about these things that are bothering you, you start building up your confidence, you, you know who you are, you're adding value to yourself because of the fact that you're putting boundaries in place. And again, you are, it's making it very aware who's supposed to be in your life and who's not supposed to be in your life. And if these people are not going to honor your boundaries, then that is a big indicator that you may have to question and kind of figure out where this person is going to fit in your life at all i mean sometimes it's just best to let certain people go if you guys made it this far in the video go ahead and put some prayer and worship hands in the comments section make sure you guys follow me at key loves god on instagram comment under my video video screenshot this video if you guys have watched it and made it this far and i will feature you guys on my channel i'm not my channel but on my um story on instagram and if you when you guys comment stuff under my pictures and under my videos and all that I literally do watch them. I read all of the comments. I um, put them up here sometimes or I may even, you know, put them on my story. And I just want you guys to know that I love you so much and that I would not be able to do any of this without you guys. I'm so happy that we have a place where we can come together and we can talk and inform one another. I am no therapist. I'm not licensed to do any of these things. I don't know everything. I'm literally speaking from my experience and I really do believe the saying that experience is the best teacher. So I'm hoping that this video was very helpful to you guys. I love you so much and I will see you in another video. Mwah.